if premium smartphones are a bit too premium for your price tag, Sony's got an option for you. The E3, announced today at IFA, is expected to be a budget model, but with some top-end design features. Despite being aimed at consumers on a budget, the E3 still has a 4.5-inch screen that actually looks really crisp when you're moving around the apps and features. Its premium body is not as premium as Z3, but still has a mix of aluminium and plastic. It doesn't feel too bad in your hand, and it's, it's really light. Despite being aimed at a more budget end of the market, the E3 still has a 4.5-inch screen. It's not quite full HD, but it still feels pretty crisp and bright when you're moving around the apps and features. It's housed in a body that doesn't quite have the finesse of the Z3, but it's still a nice mix of plastic and aluminium. It feels pretty light in your hand and actually pretty nice to hold. You can buy the E3 in four different colour options. There's black and white, uh, but also a more adventurous lime or copper variety. We need our smartphones to last with us throughout the day with everything that we do in our lives. The E3 has a 2330 milliamp battery. That's pretty impressive considering the price expected for this one. And it should, in theory, last a full day's usage, although we'll have to test that out in the lab. The E3 has a five megapixel rear fitted camera. So you can take some pretty good shots, I and mean, obviously it's not going to be up there with the great smartphones, the iPhones and so on, but it's still not going to be not too bad. You get HDR as well, high dynamic range, and image stabilization, and you can shoot uh, full HD 1080p video. Um, on the front there is a VGA camera, it's pretty low resolution, but it should be okay for Skype calls considering the size of the screen. We don't know pricing and availability yet for the, uh, the E3, but we're expecting it to come in at the more budget end of the market, as we previously said. Uh, considering the sort of the uh, headline specs and the, the feel of the device, it's, it looks pretty good. Uh, we'll be obviously have to get it in the lab to see if it uh, if it can really compete with the budget other budget devices from kind of Nokia and even the iPhone 5C. But this certainly looks like an interesting contender. Click the links below for more on this, more on this Sony Smartwatch 3, and everything else from IFA 2014.